Hello everyone. We welcome you to the event by Edutaker. It's about unleashing the power of generative AI. It's a very important topic because everybody around us is talking about generative AI. So let's understand what is generative AI. Right? So it's a form of an artificial intelligence. So we have learned so much about artificial intelligence. We feel that anything that a machine can do is called as AI. Right? But generative AI is an advanced form of AI, which is an algorithm which can produce the content on its own. So if you're going to ask it some questions, if you're going to ask it some images, if you give it some audio or a video, it can create something else for you that which never existed. So it can learn and create. So it's a very beautiful concept which has made it much easier for humans to take, means take help of technology to do their creative stuff more easily. Right? So you would have seen many tweets which are talking about how AI, generative AI is making, giving power to us. So do not have the fear that you're going to lose job. In fact, more jobs are created because it has a potential to transform life in a positive way. We should know how you can use this generative AI to leverage and help you out in whatever situation you are. So till now, if you were learning some concept, it was always relating to one field. But with the invent of generative AI, which is accessible to us, even though whether you know coding or you do not know programming and coding, this has been a revolution. So let's understand some background to it. So what is a generative AI workflow? So how does generative AI work at a very high level? So suppose if I had to explain it or see it from a very high level, it is about a big database from where you are providing it to the algorithm. Then you are asking questions to that algorithm, which will go back, refer to the database and come and generate a new content. So I hope you understand. So there is a big database. You have the prompts which you are asking to the algorithm. And then the algorithm will generate contents which is based on this database. But the beauty is it doesn't copy paste the answers as it is. It will generate in the context that you give it. And that's where it is different for every person who is asking it. So let's go further. Within a generative AI, you have three types of models. The first one is called as GAN or Generative Adversarial Network. The other second one is called as VAE. And the third one is the transformer model. So as you understand what we are seeing, everybody is talking about chat GPT. It is the highest type of model that is the transformer model, right? So that's why we say GPT. It's a generative pretext transformer model. So before even going to understand transformer models, let's first understand what is GAN and VAE. Are you all ready? Wonderful. Thanks for the confirmation. So when we talk about GAN, it is a neural network algorithm, which is based on unsupervised learning algorithm, right? So what it does is it can create new data, new pictures, which never existed in past. So the picture that you see on the right side, there is no human on this earth who looks exactly like this. It's not a real picture. It's a mix of multiple pictures which it has but when you look at this woman or the picture that you see on the screen you feel that it's a photograph of some lady right so that is the beauty of generating novel data so just a brief so it means that you are taking some data and this algorithm can draw something all together a new one which nobody has ever seen if you give it a small picture, which is very small and blurry, maybe you have an image of an entire garden. From there, you take a snippet of a small picture and ask it to create a beautiful flower out of it. It will go ahead and detail that flower in such a beautiful way. You will feel that this flower exists. You can add things like I want the petals to be purple. You want the sepals not to be green, but yellow. It will make 
taking your inputs, it will make it so detailed and you will also get mistook that it's not a real flower at all. That is the power of GAN. So let's take see a GAN demo, how it works. You're going to be amazed at the capacity that it has. You are going to see images on the top, which are humans. You'll see a separate image and it will generate a new image altogether. Let's get started. So did you understand? It took images, it understood the concept of gender, age, hair length, glasses, poses and so on. And for a person, it has gone ahead and created different types of images. That's the power of GAN. So let's go further. The second type of model that we see is called as VAE, Variational Auto Encoder. So when you talk about VAE, it's a, again one more type of neural network. All the three models are based on the concept of neural networks. This is a more complex model because it is based on a data set, right? So it takes, it tries to use this concept for anomaly detection. So if there is something different, in the photograph or if there is something different in the pattern it will immediately identify it so that's the power of this model right so you can give it like a lot of data and you can ask it that okay go ahead and create something altogether new so i just wrote a story which can help you understand what's the power of VA. so you're giving a mix of things and you are asking it to mix it up and come up with new thing altogether. So I'm going to show you one more demo of VA. Are you all ready? Wonderful. Have you ever seen a polar bear playing bass? bass? Or, or a robot, robot painted, painted like a Picasso? Picasso? Didn't, think Didn't think so. so. Dolly 2 is a new AI system, system from OpenAI that can take simple text descriptions like a koala dunking a basketball and turn them into photorealistic images that have never existed before. Dolly 2 can also realistically edit and retouch photos. Based on a simple natural language description, it can fill in or replace part of an image with AI-generated imagery that blends seamlessly with the original. It's called inpainting. In January 2021, OpenAI introduced Dolly, a system that can generate images from text, like this avocado armchair. Dolly 2 takes the technology even further with higher resolution, greater comprehension, and new capabilities, like inpainting. It can even start with an image as an input and create variations with different angles and styles. Dolly was created by training a neural network on images and their text descriptions. Through deep learning, it not only understands individual objects, like koala bears and motorcycles, but learns from relationships between objects. And when you ask Dolly for an image of a koala bear riding a motorcycle, it knows how to create that or anything else with a relationship to another object or action. The Dolly research has three main outcomes. First, it can help people express themselves visually in ways they may not have been able to before. Second, an AI-generated image can tell us a lot about whether the system understands us or is just repeating what it's been taught. Third, Dolly helps humans understand how AI systems see and understand our world. This is a critical part of developing AI that's useful and safe. The technology is constantly evolving and Dolly 2 has limitations. If it's taught with images that are incorrectly labeled, like a plane labeled car, and a user tries to generate a car, Dolly may create a plane. It's like talking to a person who learned the wrong word for something. Dolly can also be limited by gaps in its training. If you type baboon and Dolly has learned what a baboon is through images and accurate labels, it will generate a lot of great baboons. But if you type howler monkey and it hasn't learned what a howler monkey is, Dolly will give you its best idea of what it thinks it could be like a howling monkey. What's exciting about the approach used to train Dolly is that it can take what it learned from a variety of other labeled images and then apply it to a new image. 
Given a picture of a monkey, Dolly can infer what it would look like doing something it's never done before, like paying its taxes while wearing a funny hat. Dolly is an example of how a map. Right? So, here the thing is for VAE, it needs a database on which it has to learn. And if it has learned on the wrong thing, it is going to give you a wrong output. So, this is an example of a supervised learning algorithm if you have a little idea. Otherwise, I think you got a little difference between VAE and GAN. Here it is trying to combine few things, there it is trying to create altogether new things. Here I can give words and ask it to create something based on the combination of multiple image knowledge it has, right? So isn't it beautiful that you are able to use technology to come up with images just by writing some text? Now let's get onto a more interesting model, that's the transformer model. So it's also a neural network architecture. It automatically transforms one type of input into another type of output. You all guys would have tried out ChatGPT. If you have not, at least you would have heard about ChatGPT because that's the buzzword that's going around. This GPT is, the ChatGPT is based on G transformer model. So OpenAI has made ChatGPT available to us, which is based on this. So it has already learned from a large database. If you ask it any question, it will go and frame an answer based on the knowledge it has. That's the beauty. And when you see the answers, those answers again never existed. It creates based on the knowledge it has. And these answers are unique to every person who asks the question. So this makes the GPT-3, GPT-4 that we are talking about are the BERT model, which is what we all are using, right? You can see there are many examples of applications of generative AI, that is Synthesia, DALI, Jasper, ChatGPT, Beautiful.ai. And I think you should just take a few seconds to go and click on of these names on the Google, right? Before I proceed further, I just want to check how much did you understand or what did you understand? So I'm just going to take you to my Mentimeter screen. I would request you to scan the QR code. And if you have, if you cannot scan the QR you can do it through your mobile. Be sure this is completely confidential. We are not going to know who has typed what answer. So I'm not going to know that who, which answer is what. But it will give me an idea that what did you understand about generative AI? So you can scan the QR code or you can type on your mobile or on the new tab menti.com and write the code 81867456. Once you are there, you would have a thumbs up button. Just click thumbs up so I would get to know that you are all here. I will only get to know how many participants are here, not the name. So I would request you to please do that. Yes, so let's go. If you have missed the QR code, the link is on the top. It is menti.com and use the code 81867456. So what according to you is generative AI? I'm not looking at a perfect answer. I'm looking at understanding that what did you understand in the last 15, 20 minutes? Yes. So it boosts the productivity, it's mind-boggling, helpful, new, it's an assistant, it's smart, it's engaging, it's efficient, it's intelligent, wonderful. Good, good to see that, right? So, any more points? Okay. Yes, it's mind-boggling, assistant, artificial, smart, efficient, intelligent, wonderful, yes. If you're still typing, you can type. It will still come over here. Because this, yes, you all have understood what is generative AI really well. It is intelligent. It is creative. Yeah, that's the most important point. It is creative and intelligent. It is capable of creating things very uh, efficiently and very smart, right? Some things that never existed. It's not answer to things which you already know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next part. Which AI tool are you aware of? So for you, the screen will come like this and you will have to start selecting the options. 
So what are the tools that you are aware of? Okay, ChatGPT, Alexa, Google Drive. Wonderful. Yes, ChatGPT. Everybody is aware of ChatGPT. What about others? Alexa, Siri, Google Drive. Yes, so one thing is for sure, we all have heard Chat GPT as the AI tool. Just to give you a brief, I think there are still some more participants who are typing. So let me wait for a few more seconds. It's good to know that you all have heard about Chat GPT. Yes, and we all, some or the other way, we have also heard about Alexa and Siri. So yes, these Chat GPT came easily available to us in December 2022. Means it was launched in November 2022, but not many people were aware of it. It was in the last week of November. By January, it just blasted. We had 100 million active users, unique active users, I should say. So that's what we are thinking ChatGPT is AI. But we had earlier some simple AI like conversational AI like Alexa, Siri and all which we were there. But you can understand the elevation in the technology in terms of the algorithm of what Alexa or Siri can answer to you versus what ChatGPT can answer to you. So this is really amazing, right? So this is what ChatGPT is what is based on the transformer model language. Thank you so much for participating. This gives me an encouragement that yes, you guys are aware of. Yeah. So yes, first thing that comes to our mind is ChatGPT, right? Because then you, when you see the options of Alexa and Siri, you feel, oh yes, these are also AI tools. These are my virtual assistants too. Wonderful. So let's get back to our thing. So what are the real world application of generative AI? So chat GPT is one of it, but that itself is a transformational tool that came to our hands. It can change the way you work. It can help you no matter which profession you come from. If you are a developer, you are a social media marketing expert, you are a digital marketer in short, or you are somebody who's working at office, if you are somebody who is working at home, if you are somebody who's working for a startup, you are an entrepreneur, Chat GPT provides a solution to you because it's a very flexible AI tool, right? You have DALI, which can generate Im images, you have beautiful AI, you have Synthesia. You have multiple other AI tools which are there in the market. So let me just explain you at a high level. So chat GPT, all of you, some of you would have also tried it out. It takes questions and it gives, it forms an answer and give it to you. That answer, which is not direct copy paste from Google or not direct copy paste from internet. It's not a copy. It's a hundred percent plagiarism free. It reads your question, it reads, understands the intent. If you set the context, it goes from its knowledge of the database that it has, it reframes and provides you an input, output, I should say, output to your question. DALI 2, we just saw a small demo which says that you can generate images out of the text input. So you give a text input. So you said polar bear playing a guitar, it will create it. Or if you say uh, a polar bear riding a motorcycle, it will create multiple images, which will make it so real. So can you imagine people who are working as photographers and all, they can make use of this technology to get images, which are really helpful. Synthesia, Jukebox, these are other AI based tools which are used. So for if you're working on videos and voiceovers, Synthesia is a very good tool to if you're working with videos. So DALI, chat GPT is for chat, DALI is for images, this is for videos. And if you're looking at some music which you want to produce from scratch, it should not be a remake of AR Rahman or it should not be a remake of any of your favorite Hollywood songs, but you want to start something from scratch, you can use, you can try out Jukebox. This is also an open AI based uh, algorithm. 
where you are going to go ahead and give a settings saying that what type of genre you like, what type of artist style you like, what type of items you want it to play, what is the singing style, what should be the lyrics and it goes ahead and creates, composes something altogether new which was never ever heard by anyone before. So that combination is really beautiful. It's a must try for all of you. So with that, let's understand what is the future of generative AI. We saw that it's really an amazing tool. It can go ahead and create things based on its learning or create things right based on its algorithm that it has built. So we can understand that it is going to change the world altogether. Right? Maybe you should spend some time to go to openai.com, go to your products and read about customer stories because it talks about many places where people have started using OpenAI. It's not only about going to the chat GPT screen and using, but the technology is coming into different organizations, which is creating a lot of job opportunities. Now, if you are interested in learning this, then you should be going to the Edureka page. Let me make it a little easy for you. Just come to Google and say Edureka chat GPT. You would find that it's showing up OpenAI Chat GPT certification training program, right? The live online classes are starting from 13th May. You can download your curriculum and you can give your phone number so that somebody from our team will get in touch with you. So that the course has been upgraded. The earlier version of the course was based on GPT 3.5. We have upgraded our course to GPT 4. So you have all the things, even if you have no background about AI tools, or if you are somebody who is on the soft skill part like digital marketing or you are a trainer or, or you are working in some organization or you're planning to move into the world of AI, then this course will help you to go from beginners to advance. Right. So that is one more piece for you. And I would request you to please comment your experience on the screen because this will give us an idea of how was the learning experience today. Thank you so much for giving your 30 minutes to us. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!